Hello friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to be talking about the five ways through which you can become a good developer. Like these are the ways that I have applied in also in my coding journey and I have learned and improved so much in this uh, my coding journey and I will also teach you about these things so that you can, be, you can become a good developer. So the first thing that you need to keep in mind is the code itself. Like you need to code every day. You need to do uh, the coding every day. You don't need to skip it like even on the holidays if you are trying to become a good developer so try to do the coding every day so the best thing that you can do is to start working on a project just make a project even if it's a calculator or a to-do list just make a project if you are a beginner and the more projects that you are working on the more you will improve yourself like start from a beginner project then move to the intermediate and then go to the advanced project one by one and the more you will do it the more you will do the coding side of it the more you will improve your coding skills and you will become a good developer so yeah the code itself you don't need to skip it you need to do it every day this is the first step that you need to keep in mind the second step is that uh, you don't need to just learn from the tutorials i know that tutorials are good they are good for beginners but at some point you will reach to a level when the uh, tutorials will not solve your problem because um, the tutorials are not made for the uh, uh, what you can say advanced people they are mostly may created for the beginners there are some tutorials that the content creator are creating the tutorials for the uh, advanced people advanced users uh, but you need to keep this in mind that most of the uh, uh, tutorials that are created are for the beginner so you need to keep this in mind that the tutorials won't solve your advanced problems you need to solve them yourself and don't just rely on chat gpt because chat gpt is also not updated you need to uh, be focused more on the documentation side learn from the documentation try to get the books that are updated and learn from those books once you learn on the co the coding side from the books and the documentation you will learn it so much and in less amount of time instead of uh, relying on chat gpt or the coding itself you won't learn thing uh, you won't learn that thing in the uh, in in a short period of time instead it will take you so much time the tutorial tutorials are not made for the big uh, advanced users so yeah this is the second point that you need to keep in mind the third thing is to contribute to an open source project so contributing to an open source project is really easy and you can start from the documentation but uh, what i would uh, uh, encourage you what i would advise you to do is to don't just rely on uh, the documentation side of it don't just do the documentation side for every time instead try to push yourself and move to the coding side also try to uh, go to the coding side and uh, learn from it and ask questions and try to read the readme files the documentations that are present to, in that project try to read those documentation and once you understand what the project does then you can contribute to an open source project try to get um, to open the issues that are uh, not closed and solve uh, the problems there that the maintainers are facing so there is a problem uh, currently uh, in some days that i have that i'm watching in the twitter in the tech community that the, there there are many Indian people that are polluting the open source community. They are sending the useless PRs uh, like uh, improving the readme or the documentation or just by uh, improving the word. This is not a valuable contribution. Instead, if you want to do the valuable contribution, push yourself do the coding side of it improve the coding and try to solve the issues that the maintainers have already raised so you don't need to just uh, go to the readme and improve the one word or two word instead you should push yourself more to the coding side and solve the big problems that they are facing and that's how you can uh, become a valuable contributor and you can get a job also by just improving the readme file you won't become a good developer instead you will make the open source community uh, a polluted um, community right so try to avoid these things and don't just uh, be a greedy person for the sake of t-shirts or swags you can get those swags anywhere uh, you can get a t-shirt also for 10 or 20 dollars in the market also so don't just be a greedy person try to get a t-shirt or put a name on your 
t-shirt that hey i have contributed to that project so don't do this the next thing that you need to do and this is the fourth step that you need to read the code as much as you can because if you are contributing to an open source project you will uh, you need to read the code also and the more you will read the code the more you will understand that what the code uh, coding actually does because there is there are large code bases which you won't be able to understand instead you need to go to the documentation the readme files and the coding files itself in order to understand that what this code actually does once you uh, understand that code base then you can uh, easily uh, contribute into that area and become a valuable contributor so yeah try to read the code as much as you can also so the fifth thing and this is the last thing is to teach the programming to other people so this is the journey that i followed myself because when i uh, was starting my youtube channel uh, there was uh, i was not aware of any person who was trying to learn the programming so i instead what i decided is to teach the programming through my youtube channel even if no one is watching me i will still try to create the tutorials for myself in order to teach myself that how the programming work and how the coding will work so yeah that's how i started my journey and as i grew i understood how the code will work and i didn't focus just on the tutorial side instead i created the whole projects like um, i created the project playlist inside that project playlist i created multiple videos and by uh, teaching the step-by-step -step process of how this project will work and how you can create this project so it helped me a lot i learned a lot of those things by teaching uh, to on my youtube channel and uh, uh, after some time uh, the, the these projects were uh, present or combined into my uh, github uh, repositories like they were in they were present in my uh, in my github uh, uh, profile so uh, all these projects are present are present as a part of my portfolio also so yeah you need to teach those uh, programming skills to other people also uh, just check the people uh, that whether they are learning the programming or not just go there and try to be uh, try to participate there and uh, teach them if there is no person that is present in your area try to open uh, create a youtube channel and uh, create um, make videos about programming and teach the programming yourself on the youtube channel so this is easy than going to the academy or teaching the people and the programming skills instead you need to just open the camera and uh, focus on the pro project itself and you will create it so yeah these are the five things that you need to do it like the first thing is the code itself that you need to code it every day the second thing is the don't just rely on tutorials or chat gpt instead uh, focus more on the documentation or books the third thing is to contribute to an open source contribution not just valuable con uh, not just useless contribution like for getting swags instead uh, go to the deeper side of it like the code base the fourth thing is to read the code the fifth thing is to uh, teach the programming uh, through a youtube channel or through the academy or any other way that you can teach them so yeah these are the five things that you need to keep in mind in order to become a good developer and by applying these things and by applying these strategies you will definitely become a good developer so yeah uh, i'm hoping that you will uh, apply these uh, strategies and thank you for watching this video i will see you soon